In this video, we'll see how to format filters. Those are like interactive filters. Let us see that. Now, first of all, this filters, you can format it here, but those formatting would be much more visible when you, when you create a dashboard and use those filters there. Now, let us see how to create a filter first of all. So first, this is a blank empty file. Uh, format filters is the workbook name, Global Superstore 2017. You can download this workbook below this video. And now what I'll do is I'll create some uh, chart here. I'll just double click on sales, double click on subcategory and I've got the bar chart here. I'll just make it as swipe the fields. So it comes in the uh, horizontal bars itself. Now, if I want to create a interactive filter, so first of all, I will do, I'll just scroll up on the top, select this in the drop down and I'll say yes, show filter. So the filter has come on the right hand side if you observe and the filter has come in the filters card itself. Now, if I want to format the filter, so I'll just click on this place and I'll just click on this drop down and if you, if you see the option which is given as format filters. So if I click on this format filters on the left hand side, you'll get this format filters dialog box which says the title is given as font and alignment, the body you can change anything. Now let's see if I want to change the title. So I'll just go to this place as font. I'll click on this drop down and I can select some, let's say some other font, let's say red color in this place, make it as bold italic underline. But now if I change this font, it would not be visible here. Okay. So it will only be visible when I create a dashboard. Okay. So this portion would not be available. A same thing. If I select this body, if I click on this drop down, and if I select some, some color here, so on the right hand side, if you see the text has been changed here. So this is related to body font. Same way. If I want to change the body shading itself, so I'll click on this drop down, select this option. And if you see the shading has come and same way, if I want to insert some border, I'll select some border and this way. So if you see, these are the changes, whichever changes you cannot see here, you can see on the dashboard itself. What I mean to say in the dashboard. So when I click, when I create a dashboard, this is a sheet. If I click on the second uh, plus button, it will create a dashboard that is dashboard one. So from here, what I can do is I can pick up this format filters. The sheet name is format filters. I'll pick up and drop it here itself. So if you see that's a given here, the changes which were not visible there are visible here. For example, the title color, which is, was not visible, the borders. So whatever changes you make in this sheet will be visible only in the dashboard. So make sure you have to do a settings part in the format filter part itself, right? Format filters. So first of all, I'll bring this format filters pane itself. Now in your PC, if you try to do this, the, the title would be something different. Category of products is what I've got. Your title might be something different. So how do I change the text in the title part? So you have to click on this drop down and you have to see the option given as edit title. Click on this edit title, you'll get a dialog box. In this place, what you can do is you can remove this text like this. And if you want, you can change something. New filters. And what I'll do is I'll change the color, text, everything, all these options. So I'll make it as white. Uh, remove this bold italic underline. Increase the font size to 20. Change some font here, some other font I'll pick up, which is easy to understand. So I'll type some other font, which is simple here, bookman old style, bookman old style. And if I want, I can bring in the center part itself and I'll click on OK. So formatting of title, changing the options is very simple. How you have to do it? You have to just click on this drop down and you have to click on this edit title. If the title is not visible, you can select this option as show title. So if you observe here, now the text has changed new filters, but it would be available. The, the formatting would be available only in the dashboards. So if I go to this dashboard and if you see on the right hand side, now the text has changed. I can customize it according to my requirement. So it looks better. I'll just expand this. If you want, you can expand this and find out. Yeah. So what I've done is I have double click and this has the filter. So whatever changes you make here, it will affect the option here. If you see here, it will try to change the data in this dashboard itself. So that is the later part in dashboard. We'll see in detail how to work with this filters and the chart itself. So right now, this is what we have seen about the formatting filters, editing the titles, showing the titles. Now some more features about the filters part. So if I click on this place in if I say show format filters, now I don't want the filters itself. I mean the coloring part and everything. So simply I can just click on this clear part. Whatever changes have you made that will become as bold it, bold font itself. If you see the bold, whatever changes you have not made, that will be the same font itself. When you click on clear, whatever is the bold options that will be removed, 
if I click on this clear, if you see everything has removed from the right hand side that also will be removed here. Now what you can do is you can add some extra features into your interactive filter to make it much more better. So if I click on this drop down and if you see there's option given as customize. So click on customize. Do you want an apply and cancel button? Suppose you select the options and you want to click on apply button. So you see there's an option given as show apply button here. So if I click on show apply button, you see there's a cancel and apply button. So what will happen is it will not become as very much interactive as as earlier one. So first you have to select all and if I select this up uh, that is the furniture and then you can apply. After you click on apply only then the changes will be visible here. So I'll just click on apply and if you see there are only four fields which are given bookcases, chairs, uh, tables and furnishing. Same way if I select all three and click on apply only then the changes will be available here. So suppose if you don't want this apply button do the same process click on this drop down select this option as customize select this as show apply button itself and it will be removed itself. So these are some options related to nothing but as format filters. So I hope you have understood that's all for this video.